Oh, it's you again. Well, I mean, you could be new, I guess. No, no, wait, wait, that came out wrong. Silly Kura, you shouldn't be so rude to your viewers. Um, okay, let's try that again. Hi, I'm Curiousness, and welcome to my second test video. Alright, well, that's a little bland, but better, I guess. Oh, well, whatever. Um, anyway, don't worry. This will be the last one of these. Well, there was going to be a third, but it would be so much work that if I waited until I finished that one, I'd never get on, started on anything else. So, I'll just skip it, I think. Anyway, if you did actually watch the last one, firstly, I'm very sorry. <laughs> you may remember I said I couldn't record PC games at the moment. Well, that's only half true, but the results are absolutely terrible, which you can see for yourself in this video. I mean, it works, but it looks awful. So I don't think I'll do this again with my current equipment. Anyway, what you're seeing here is, I, I don't know. It's very hard to get X3 Reunion to look bad, but somehow I've managed it. It's a beautiful game, but the recording process I need to use was pretty much around anything that's good about it. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a bit further in than I had hoped, but what are you going to do? It's a, what happens with an intro like that? Maybe I should work on that. Anyway, <laughs> here you see me flying past. That ship in the background is Kura's Joy. You can see the little one in the foreground is just about bigger enough for a single person. So you can imagine how what large that one behind it is. X3 is a... can be a lot of fun, but it can also be really dull. I mean, I probably won't put it in any videos because it's just not going to make for in particularly interesting videos. Pretty ones, but not interesting. Um, also, it's just so time consuming. It's not a game for those for people with small amounts of time. And Kura's Joy there is... Uh, that's a station transporter and those cost about 30 million. Now you may you may be wondering if that's a lot. Well, let me put it this way, to get 30 million I had to play the game for 220 hours to be able to afford it. And I mean it's not even close to the most expensive ship in the game. And in principle, you can have huge fleets of them. But I dread to think what it would, how much time it would involve to get there. <laughs> if this took 220 hours, what's this going to take to have a fleet of carriers or destroyers? They cost between 120 million and 300 million to equip. Uh, but anyway, it's a fun game if you've got the time. Otherwise, it's kind of dull. I do love that ship though. So beautiful. So is everything else about the game. I don't know what I was thinking the editing here. I recorded way too much footage and I just couldn't figure out how to squeeze it all in. So probably hexagon. the editing in this is just going to be completely terrible. Um, why did I even bother to record Super Hexagon? 
I mean, I know it's trying to Again. check different recording materials, but of all the things I could have picked, that seems like a really stupid one. Anyway, Again. now you get to watch me suck at this. Game over. But, I mean, Again. I mean, it is a game where you scoring. Lasting for five seconds is already an accomplishment, but still... It's also so fast-paced and there's nothing much going on to, to talk about, so in general I really don't know why I, why I thought, you know what I should record? Let's record Super Hexagon, that's a brilliant idea. Really, really brilliant. Super. Never mind. Anyway, this actually started from two different recordings, which were done using slightly different methods, but I think along the way all the video editing and YouTube uploading and everything else has just turned it into unidentifiable mush, so <laughs> makes no difference which of those two methods I use. Speaking of which, a lot of this is recorded by the most stupid way you can possibly think of. I mean, it's it's a good idea in principle, but not with the equipment I'm using. I have a old computer with S video out. Uh, the age of the computer in itself already limits what will run on it, but if you run S video out through a composite capture video capture device, you create this horrible looking mess. <laughs> Not to mention that you're going from progressive scan video to interlaced video and back again. That's just great, isn't it? There is... Uh, why did I put in so much of this as well? Anyway. I mean, there is a, something else that I recorded at the end of the video, which is uh, recorded using a different method. Uh, and the results of that are a lot better, but there were some really annoying headaches with that too. So basically, to get a really old game working these days, you need to use DOSBox. And DOSBox has the inbuilt ability to record video. Ah, speak of the devil. <laughs> this game. I. I haven't seen it ages, but it's funny. I'm really sorry about the editing of this though. I was trying to squeeze as much into. Um, the time I had as possible. And that's kind of mucked a few things up a bit. Still. Oh yes. I don't know. There's so much dialogue in this and uh, voice acting that I sort of feel bad about talking over it. Uh, so I really don't know. Should I speak over the top of that or not? I'll see how it goes. We have confirmation of his position, Master. Roger Wilco. Space Janitor. As our story begins, we find the aluminum mallard parked outside a CD spaceport bar. Oh, well, that's just charming. <laughs> oh, that gets me every time. Why does he look like he's not wearing a shirt? I know he is. I just... <sighs> Should I speak over this? Should I not? Oh, whatever. It's just a test video. I suppose I'll have to figure out how to actually try and record it. The music drives me nuts because of how DOSBox deals with music. It's so Sorry if it sounds awful. I could play it in better quality, but somehow couldn't record it in that quality. It's very He's annoying. Mr. Wilco, follow me and do exactly as I say. Let's move. Oh, that's just 
some of the writing in this is brilliant, but some of the voice acting is awful. Yeah, so this is way too much editing in this. Sorry about that. Try not to do now that with, if I had actually recorded. non-existent auditory organs. This place As sure looks homely. Proper oh, wait, this looks just like Xenon. It is Xenon. It's 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 really a pile. Along with the changes induced by an armed conflict, the city looks different, more modern, with a heavy dash of post-disaster seasoning. Casually glancing at the status line, you happen to notice that you're in Space Quest 12. What's happened? Uh, Who was that guy with the over Adventure games. Why did you let yourself be talked into jumping into some strange... So much. Why are you talking of his story, so if I skip all this stuff, he lose half the game. So. What are you going to do? It's you. Why do I keep saying that? That's really annoying. <laughs> Decaying and destroyed buildings now house the apparently non-existent population of Xenon. A twisted and broken expanse of cityscape stretches south from here. Negating possible travel plans in that direction. You are in the southern area of a rare clearing in this destroyed cityscape. Your home, as you remember it, does not exist in this period of time. A huge boil of a structure clogs the horizon. A brightly Charming descriptions. Hair wanders about. The hair anticipating. No, I wouldn't be able to catch it. The open, barehanded won't come anywhere near you. The rubble is rough and jagged. No sense in risking injury this early in the adventure. We'll get to that in due time. The snappy scent of freshly chopped buildings fills the air. Gotta love a game where you can sniff and, and lick things. I mean, what is even the point of being able to lick something lick other than the comedy value? The street, finding the taste unpleasant you quickly swallow it. What a smart person you are. Hey, keep your hands off yourself. This is a family game. Oh, is it now? Is that why you have all the suggestive jokes? On the surface of this city. This was a busy intersection of commerce when times were happier and life, well, just existed. An odd structure looms in the distance. I think we're looking at your basic surface transportation intersection. Yes, how to state the obvious in a really weird way. the north. In the distance, the skeletal remains of once proud structures jut weakly into the chemical-laden atmosphere. It smells like the remains of a flourishing civilization blasted to smithereens by an evil entity of immense power. How is that bad, even? Considering what it smells like. <laughs> the taste of this yeah. brings to mind all those wonderful times as a child that the local bully ground your face into the asphalt. Creases Feel like I should be craters from incoming ordnance and gouges from fallen debris are the only deviations in an otherwise smooth surface. A hazardous accumulation of unstructured structures blocks safe passage to the north. The old bank of Xenon Maybe. building held up fairly well. Maybe this isn't actually a great game for, a lone one. <laughs> for this. It tastes like all the other sidewalks you've ever tasted, weirdo. Okay, you get can't get a word in, can I? It Not without okay, talking over but something. I generally prefer your rubble extra chunky. As is often the case but road design, that's my own fault for editing it this way. Have to rethink that it's in future, like won't I? Never want to put your tongue on again. Anyway, it's time to go. Bye bye. We're glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pet load.